Okay, welcome everybody to today's EVA Match Briefing with the New Zealand team. Uh, it's my pleasure to welcome uh, Richie Mwanga, uh, Head Coach Steve Hansen and Aaron Smith. Uh, please put your hand up for a question as usual. We do have uh, translation, so open up the floor. First question, please. At the back. G'day, Richie. Uh, just what's this week been like for you and you ready to go again tomorrow night? Um, yeah, the, the I guess the start of the week was um, was was tough. It was um, going through review and and reviewing the game, and uh, yeah, it was tough. But I guess we're at a stage now where we're really excited. Um, just certainly grateful for the opportunity to put the jersey on again, and, and obviously the last time some of the boys will put the jersey on, it's a great time to be excited to send them the way out, uh, send them out the, the way they should be. Question? At the back again. And just on one of those guys who's being sent out, uh, Kieran Reid, he's been your skipper for the whole time in the All Blacks and you played a lot with him. Just what's he meant to you as a rugby player? Yeah, Skip's a very special person. He's unique in the way he leads. I think the respect that he has from the players and staff, um, what he does in and around the team, on and off the field, um, what he adds to this team is just huge. Um, he's someone that I've looked up to ever since I've been in a professional rugby environment. And to see the way that he operates as a, as a leader is inspirational and um, he's one of the greats, yeah. Yep, the back. G'day, Aaron. What is it about the bloke sitting to your right that creates such really good environments for, for players to be able to be as good as they possibly can be? Um, well, you know, Steve's an um, awesome coach, awesome man as well, and um, I've very, been very blessed to spend uh, eight, eight or nine years with him, and um, I've enjoyed every moment. Um, his ability to tell you something, but get you to kind of figure it out, something I really enjoy. He doesn't just tell you exactly the answer. He kind of gets you to talk it and sort of get to your point or his point. Um, I love the most is belief in you. Um, that's the best thing I always find. He's tough on you early in the week. Come Captain's run and game day and that, he just walks around the change room and makes you feel like a million bucks and just makes you really want to go out there and play for him. And um, he yeah, getting me all sad thinking, this weekend's my last time, but you never know. There could be some other games in the future, Coach, so hopefully we can connect again. Andrew at the back. Aaron, um, you've, you've been through a lot, obviously, in the All Blacks. How much of a challenge or how different has the challenge been this week? Um, interesting challenge. Um, as you said, I've been through a lot personally as well and um, I think it kind of helps. I know how to um, keep my um, vision short, uh, motivate my days and just get what I want out of each day and as Richie said at the start of this um, press conference was, you know, the early in the week was tough, um, saw heaps of opportunities that we missed but just really excited about um, playing tomorrow night, playing a really quality Welsh team um, and uh, very lucky to be able to pull the black jersey on again. Be the last time for this year, and um, we've got some quality men leaving, um, finishing or leaving, and um, we owe them a, a good send off. So a lot of my energy will be put into doing my job for the team. And um, yeah. The back. Sorry, uh, Aaron. Again, just. Um it would be quite easy to try and rotate a squad entirely out. You've played a lot of minutes. So first off, was it a nice surprise to hear that you get a crack this week? And then the second part of the question is, is the long-term plan to maybe push to appear in a World Cup again, another four years away? Yeah, I was very happy to get a, um, get a, get a go to sort of rectify last week. Um, very, very grateful. Um, and hope I can show that in my performance. Energy levels are, are perfectly fine. Uh, we had a real 
everything this year was to get to this week, really. And um, I'm lucky I'm playing a game. It's just not the game that I wanted it to be. But um, and look into the future. Um, I've been thinking about it a bit this week. And, you know, it's just, I can, uh, what was this? Uh, Rito turned 34 last week, and he's still going brilliant. So there's hope. I'm 30. Um, I turn, uh, I say there's hope doesn't mean that I'm going to make it like he did. But, uh, you know, us halfbacks don't take as much knocks. I suppose the only challenge will be if I'm still there mentally and if I'm still fit enough or quick enough. So um, that's a long way off. My contract's a two-year deal, so uh, if you could talk to them to make it four, I'm keen. <laughs> okay, the front. Yeah, good day, Richie. Um, yesterday, Steve talked about, um, I guess, the long-term benefits of a week like last week that you guys went through, and obviously the outcome. I just wonder if you, you know, as a guy that hopefully will be around for the next cycle. Um, just talk a little bit about what you took out of that whole week and you know the whole semi-final experience and what and how you will u maybe use that I guess to fuel you at going forward as an All Black. Yeah, there, there was definitely a lot of learnings in that week, and I guess in my short career, probably one of the, the toughest, um, the toughest loss uh, I've suffered uh, in rugby. Um, But it's exciting that uh, I still have a lot of rugby ahead of me and something we took out of the review was the boys that have a, a lot of rugby ahead of them, we've got to take these learnings and, and we've got to uh, make sure we make the most of it. And uh, I guess something that I've learned is um, you just never take anything for granted. You just, uh, if you are where your feet are, and that's right here, right now, every moment, and, and winning every day, and um, preparing for every game like it's your last, I think um, you really make the most of everything. Um, what I have also learnt is um, to turn the tap on and off, and that's something I've had to do uh, the last couple of days, and um, name times for when I might have a lie down and a, and a cry, and, and that, that's okay but uh, never to leave the tap dripping uh, throughout the week and that will cause you to, to be drained and that's not what the team needs me to do. The team needs me to be here right now and the task we have in front of us as well as tomorrow, which is bloody exciting. I I'm pumped and like Nagi, Nagi said, just so grateful to get the opportunity um, and my job is to show that tomorrow. Yeah. Steve, just uh, the fact it's been 60 odd years since Wales has beaten the All Blacks, is that um, important to preserve that, that length of time, that mental advantage maybe? Um, something else you can throw in the mix maybe this week? Oh, look, I think it's one of many, many things that you throw in the mix, but look, you, you don't go into games with that uh, outlook. You go into games wanting to perform. And, and your week's about preparing to do that. And, you know, these boys have had a tough week. Uh, but, you know, I'm really proud of the way they've, they've climbed off, back off the floor and uh, they're getting on with it. And, you know, we, we've got a game tomorrow which is called a test match for a reason because it's going to test us mentally and physically. The opposition are coming to this tournament were number one in the world. Um, you know, and it's quite unique, I think. At this World Cup, we'll have played uh, England, Ireland, Wales, South Africa. Uh, so we get a really good reflection of where we are at the end of it. Um, we could end up being in a situation where we've lost two games or lost one game and still haven't been good enough to win the tournament. So um, it, it's about resetting the button and making sure that we go and have a performance not only we can be proud of, but every New Zealander around the world and every fan of the All Blacks can be proud of. If we do that, then you know, we've done what, what, what we could. And if that's good enough to win the game, then we'll take that. If it's not, then we go away and work a bit harder. Good 
at the back. Steve, what gives you confidence that your team is in the right place they need to be for a, what you are referring to, a big game of Test Match Rugby? Uh, their body language, uh, the way we trained yesterday, they're usually the key indicators, and they're pretty good at the moment. Hi, Aaron. Hey, Rick. Hey, bro. Um, <laughs> there's just been a lot of talk um, these days about mental health um, and, and society. And just want to go back to something Richie just mentioned before about his mental state. Obviously, you're a bunch of guys this week who have you know, gone through something pretty traumatic. Is there any advice um, or anything you've learnt this week about being in a group um, for perhaps men, young men in New Zealand about dealing with this sort of stuff and being able to communicate with one another? Um, I think... You know, for us, it started at the review. Um, coach asked us all individually how we we're feeling. There was a lot of pain there. There was a lot of honesty. You've got grown men pouring their hearts out, and that's showing real massive vulnerability. Whether that would have happened a while back, maybe not. But um, I know Coach pu pushes it pretty hard in our leadership meetings. We have them after every week to check where each person's at. People that aren't selected, people that are, are on different scales. But... Um, you know, I think we just really care about each other a lot. Um, we check in on each other. You can see people having the little combos. Um, I'm really proud of our boys to show the emotion they did. A lot of people won't know what was seen in the changing room or what we did on Monday and how honest we are and that uh, to each other and with each other. And to honest, sometimes be that honest in a really tough situation is it's, it's hard to take. But we all did it and probably left the room feeling a lot better. Not happy, but better. And, um, yeah, it's still there. It still hurts. But as we've just said, we've got a great opportunity tomorrow to make sure we go into the summer um, with a better feeling. And, um, yeah, one more chance to play rugby this year. That fizzes me up, so can't wait. Can I add to that? Because I think you know it is a massive problem in New Zealand. And our biggest problem is that we don't give those people that are struggling the permission to say they're struggling. We think we have to hide it. And um, as a result of hiding it, it bottles up, bottles up, bottles up, and then it's like a big volcano, isn't it? When it gets too hot, it blows. And you know, our, our job is, as parents, uh, as work colleagues, is to support the people. But first of all, you, you've got to know that they need the support. And uh, to know that, you've got to know your people. Uh, and, and then you've got to allow them to be vulnerable. Um, and it takes a lot to be vulnerable, you know, because uh, how people react to your vulnerability is, is either going to allow you to do it again or it's going to shut you down. So giving them permission, I think, is is the key, and then uh, letting them just be vulnerable. And, you know, it's no no different in sport, families, or work. And we've got to do it better than we're doing it. Steve, just kind of on that same subject, is one of the legacies of Kieran Reid, obviously a brilliant player, one of the greats, but in terms of his leadership, allowing players to be themselves, to show their emotions? Is that one of his legacies as well? Uh, yeah, I think it is. I mean, he's he's strong enough to be vulnerable himself, so uh, we take a lead off, off the people that lead us. Um, and, uh, you know, it's not it's not what he, he wanted to come to this tournament to do, as it wasn't what the three of us up here or the whole team wanted to do, but it's reality. And sometimes, you know, life's not fair. Neither sport, but it's life. You know, the sky's blue and the grass is green. And you can't change it. You know, you get, you get your moment, and uh, we didn't take it. Uh, but we're going to get another moment on, on um, Saturday, uh, Friday. And, you know, we've talked a lot about back there in this media conference, and you haven't asked too many questions about Wales, and I, I understand that, but... You know, our focus is right on Friday and what we can do on Friday. Um, and then, you know, time uh, will allow us to go where we go, but 
you know, the most important thing we can do this week is go out and play uh, to the highest standards that we can play or coach to the highest standards we can coach or you know, be the best manager you can be to the highest level you can be. And, and in doing that, we, we show not only ourselves and uh, our teammates and, and uh, our country that we've got some character. Now, it's easy to have character when you win all the time because it's not tested. Now, our character has been tested this week. So it's, it's really probably the most important thing we can do now is to show that you know, if, you, if your character is tested, you can stand up to it. And, and, and then that's success. That's the greatest success we can take out of this tournament. It's the greatest success we can show uh, young people um, in New Zealand you know, who, who want to be aspiring All Blacks or aspiring anything, that you've got to have character. That's the most important thing. Like, success creates a lot of perception, but it's not always true. You know, there's a perception out there that I'm a great coach. Well, that's only because we've won a lot of ga games. Like, there's not that many people that know if I'm a great coach or not because they haven't been in our environment. And success has created that perception. But your real character comes out when you're, when you're under pressure. And, and I think that's going to be the exciting thing about Friday, how we respond to that. Andrew? Steve, do you, do you take a moment at all tonight, stare at a blank wall and reflect on what's been a massive part of your life, or is that tomorrow? tomorrow night or the weekend? Oh, look, I've got plenty of time after t Friday night to reflect on all sorts of stuff. Uh, so I won't, I, I won't sit there and reflect. And I'll, what I'll be looking for is how we're playing um, and what can I do to help us play even better. And then when it's over, um, what do we have to do? You know, are, we, are we in a situation where we've, we've won or are we in a situation where we've lost? And what, what do I have to do to help these young men uh, deal with what it, a positive or a negative. Um, you know, I'm you know, going somewhere else after this, which we all know, and uh, I'll have plenty of time to reflect there with a cold beer in my hand and a hot towel. <laughs> or whatever else you want me to have. Do we have a final question? The one in the front here. Aaron, um, there's been a lot of talk about, I guess, the the way you guys have handled yourself this week and it's struck a chord internationally and I guess <coughs> it's kind of led the way for the country as well, that the country's kind of handled this setback a little bit better than they have in the past. Can you just speak a little bit, I guess, about the importance of that, about the importance of you guys kind of leading that and, and, um, and, and just, I guess, how hard that whole process has been for you guys to take it in a dignified way? Um. I think it started at the top with Rito and um, and the boys after the game and Sunday fronting the media and putting out the message. Um, yeah, I don't think there was much more to say. Um, we just didn't want to be coach drove hard and leaders drove hard. Like we just didn't want to be that team that was grumpy, sour, and all that. We were showing pain. We really were hurting. But um, well, I'm glad the people feel like that and it's been projected out well. Um, I know within our group, we're just all looking to make it, make it right on uh, Friday. So our vision has been hour to hour, where our feet is, nailed press conference, go home, eat lunch properly, go to Captain's Run. That's sort of all I'm thinking, and try to get a coffee in there somewhere. So, yeah, mate, it's good to hear. But um, we're very proud men, and we just you got to do the jersey and the All Blacks and New Zealand right by being humble and gracious and victory or defeat. Thanks, Aaron. Thanks, Steve, Thank and thanks, Richie.